Friends, if we could just get these two things down in our life, our ministries would be so much better. Our families would be so much better. Our relationships would be so much better. Hey friends, how many of you have a to-do list? I'm sure we all do. We live and breathe by our to-do list, right? And sometimes that to-do list is totally overwhelming and then we get those days where it's like, man, I got this under control. To-do lists are part of our life and managing to-dos and prioritizing to-dos. And, and you know, one time in Matthew 22, we read a story of when a doctor of the law came to Jesus and said, Jesus, would you tell us of all the commandments what are the two greatest, what are the what greatest commandments? What are the most important ones? In other words, what he was saying, simplify my to-do list. On family vacation, we talked about this. Um, all of our family got together for a Sunday morning church, and we talked about this Matthew 22 passage. And, and this guy was like, listen, all these to-dos, what's the most important at the end of the day? And I love what Jesus said. You know what Jesus said in Matthew 22. He said, here's what they are. There's all these commandments. Here are the two most important ones. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, soul, and mind, and then love your neighbor as you love yourself. And that's it. Love the Lord your God with all of your, uh, with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, and we could break those down and talk about them, couldn't we? And then love your neighbor as yourself. I'm telling you, we way, way, way overcomplicate things sometimes, don't we? God, what do you want me to do? God, what's your calling on my life? God, what should I do today? God, what should I do next week? Lord, would you help me simplify things? And I think Jesus simplifies it for us in Matthew 22. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and strength. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Friends, if we could just get these two things down in our life, our ministries would be so much better. Our families would be so much better. Our relationships would be so much better. If we would just love God and love other people. And for those of you that are parents, grandparents, I know I've got three little girls at home. You know, this is, should be something I pray every day. God. For my girls, I pray that amongst all of the chaos of life and all of the good things they could do, I pray that they would love you with all their heart, soul, and mind. I pray, Lord, that they would love their neighbor as they love themselves. God, help, help my girls to love you and love other people. Pray that for yourself. God, today, help me to love you and love other people. Just think of the game-changing reality of that in our lives, in our ministries, for our kids.